hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to tell you my story the story of how i got kicked out of Qatar after staying there for only one month welcome to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed hit that subscription button and hit the notification bell to get notified when i post a new video i'll sit back relax and enjoy this sad funny story of how i got kicked out of Qatar. i am nom krugenzi i'm just a fan okay i've not done any storytelling so i'm going to try as much as possible to tell you all the details and to make it fun i even wrote them down to make it easier for me <laughs> i hope this works but anyway i got this and i hope you enjoy the, the video the year is 2015 i just finished with my high school education and the only thing in my mind is how i'm going to sleep for a month and take revenge and you're like i can't wait to sleep because of all the late night in mechanic soma i just want to sleep for a month and see i'm sure i'm too and that is what i did they landed home I slept, I didn't do anything, I watched, I binge watched everything. I watched any movie that came my way and that's what I just relaxed and I nikapea moyo pole. I told myself this is this you deserve it. You deserve it for four years, for studying for four years without fail, without quitting, without refusing school, you deserve it. So I relaxed and then after that you know Kama Kawaida if you're living in Kenya Mambo ni mabili ukimaliza high school. Either ufanye computer ama ufanye driving. Ama ufanye zoto mbili if you are if you are capable, but mimi nilifanya tu computer. So nika after ku relax, after nimetulia vizuri, sasa ninatoka huko nje sasa nijue dunia, nikafanya computer, I did my computer studies for about a month and I was done. Sasa niku nikujua what to do next. Wait for your for your letter, wait for your for your either kwa nyuma ito university letter or college ama if you know the course you are about to do then you go and do at this time in 2016 my sister decides that anataka kurudi shule anataka ku advance in her education she wants to do a degree now she wants to go to school afanye kazi and she has a kid now we must eliminate one so that the system can can work properly sasa she has to bring the kid alisema anataka kuleta mtoto home to to her mother so that she can be able to go to school and guess who is available to to take care of the kid me that is when my auntie duties started i my niece came home and i was the one to take care of her prepare for school do the homework you know the usual auntie duties and i was down i was not doing anything i was i had not started school so i had no issue with that so time in capita two i didn't know what to do i had i had not decided what course i wanted to do yet but my father likes anapenda kununua hizi vitu za kitabu so she alikuwa na hizi machine mzee hizi za kushona za kushona zilikuwa mzee kabisa like za kitambo so na i also did uh, home science in high school so akaniambia instead of hizi machine zende to waste na ziko tu hapa why don't you do tailoring ama fashion design ufanye hiyo and then you can use these machines to start to even start your own business and i agreed again i did not know what to do what course to take i just nilikuwa tu i just wanted to be pointed in the right direction ndio niende so i started training locally too i didn't go to any college just went to a lady up a in town i can finish her tailoring so i trained with this lady for about a year and after that i decided you know i'm good enough i can open my own business which i did i opened my first tailoring business but it was not a success in yanguka it was kind of a difficult time for me because i was young and here i am with my first business in yanguka i've packed all my belongings i don't know what to do next so i i, I eventually got up again and i decided to take up employment nikaenda and i found another lady she took me in i did i worked for her for about for about a year also and at this time took almost like 2020 and i'm not i'm not loving it here it's not working out business not good employment is not it's not so good that is when i decided to try the gaff option 
zilikuwa it just because i was not that interested but after all these downfalls i decided why don't you try something new now i started kwenda kwa agent ah it was the most tiring thing i've ever done in my life i went to over 10 agents i did like 15 interviews and nothing was paying off. One agent alikuwa amenichukua, alikuwa alikuwa ameniambia job like it was guaranteed everything. I had signed the contract, tulikuwa tushapeana pesa over 50,000 and later anakuja kuniambia ti job imeisha, sijui they have taken enough people. So nikaanza kungangana na yeye abishe pesa which was also another task. I again went to another one. I andisha pesa up front. Ananiambia kazi kwa guaranteed, leta pesa and I did. Nikampatia the 50,000 nikumetoa hii side na mletea hii side pia yeye anafanya nayo mambo yake but it's not working out. Ananiambia oh job zimeisha. So ni kazi ingine tena kukutisha pesa. Nita pesa, rudisha pesa, peleka pesa huku, rudisha. Ilikuwa tu a whole, a whole tiring process ya my agent, ya my agent, nini, everywhere. Until in 2020, after, you know, kuna COVID saga and everything, I met this lady. Akanambia kuna opportunities za kuenda kata, za kufanya security job. And I was a bit skeptical to kianzia, which, because I was tired. Agents, wanansubua, interviews as ishi, eh, no opportunities. Jai, enda, it's been like... Two years now, akuna kitu ina happen, but akaniambia ni be patient and she had uh, she the work was guaranteed I think, and I chose to trust her. But this time I did not. She did not ask for any money until you do the interview and then you see the contract. That's when you are going to pay, which was okay with me because you are not losing anything. I was just I would just go for the interviews and she would tell me if I pass, then I'll be able to pay her. Now with this lady, everything was flawless. How could you sumbua? She did not ask for this extra money that I'm not gonna teach her. Everything was great. I did all the medical tests, have a medical test, put a pin on that, we're going to revisit that and I'm going to tell you why. Now everything was good. I did all the tests. I passed the interview and the contract came and I signed. The deal was good. The deal was fantastic for two years. It was a two year deal and I was ready for it. I was just about done with this country and ni kwa tuwa taka niende. On May 5th, 2021, I boarded a flight. Not just any flight. My very first flight straight to Qatar. The plan was simple. The plan was simple. Yeah, sikuwa narudi Kenya, mpaka I need it. Sikuwa, na, sikuwa nirudi, nikuwa nimesema naenda uka uko for 5 years. Hata nikiweze kana kurenew contract, nikuwa uko. Nikuwa nika uko for over 10 years. I just make money, help my family, and help myself, obviously. And clear all the debt because when I was doing all these processes, I incurred a lot, a lot of debt. It was roughly equal to like 250k. I used all that money and I wanted to pay it back. I wanted to stay there until I pay all my debts, uh, pay, have some money, even help my family. I, was, I just wanted to, to leave this country and be able to have a lot of money. So I was not going to come back. I was going to stay there as, as long as I wanted and nothing was holding me back. I did not have any attachments, no kids, nothing. Until things went really south for me. The thing is, ukifika Qatar, there is a medical test you must do. They must confirm easy test. Atakama mpanya test uku Kenya. Ukifika uko lazima mpanya test za hundi wa confirm kama ukusawa. Na ukuja kuja tu under false pretense. So, they did a few more tests on us. Now, watu wangu, hapa ndiyo mashida zangu zilianza. This is where all my problems started. In 2014, I got infected with pulmonary tuberculosis in high school. It was so bad that I had to transfer schools. Nika soka boarding school. Nika enda, nika kuja a day school close to home so that I can be able to get medical services. Nienda my doctor visits. Na so that I can be able to access my medication. And also my mother can keep a close eye on me. I went through the treatment. I did the whole treatment process for six months, for six good months. And I was okay. I was back to normal life. Health, my health was I just went back to normal. My health was great. My test came out all negative, and everything was good until this very moment. Nikiwa kata, 
I don't know what went wrong. I did the test here in Kenya before leaving and nothing was seen. But kufika huko kata wanaweza kuniambia at they see it it has damages to my lungs. The the TB left a lot of damage to my lungs. There's a lot of scarring and they are afraid that if they stay there because of the weather conditions hapo in Zarudi. Now this is me in a foreign country. Sina mangu wa kulilia, sina mtu wa kulilia and nimeshaambiwa your contract is going to be terminated and you need to go back home. Now at this point walikuwa shani pe job. I had already been located to a position. I had already been working for like a month because all these testing is going to take weeks and you need to wait for a bit your results is it okay. Now imagine my confusion Nimesemekana they can't keep me there because uh, the TB might come back and they cannot have that. They need people who are in in ship to work there. Contract imetaminitiwa. I need to go back home. Sina familia huko, sina marafiki, sina anybody. I am completely alone in this country. What do I do? I have two options actually. Either I run Ukemboy I become a fugitive, need to for as long as possible. I do all jobs and without being caught. This is I do all this without being caught. Ama I accept my fate. Ni pande tu deke ni rudi kama mayangu ni kalini nyumbani because. I didn't know what to do. And that is what I did. I decided to leave this country very peacefully. I packed my bags and I decided to really go to Kenya. Nikalilie huko nijue what is what's next. Nikiwa kwetu safe. So on June 18, 2021, nikapandishwa ndege. Ni kwanza nienda Ethiopia, alafu nikuje Kenya na watu wangu wakata which is okay. Nipo ndisha accept fit yangu. And I was not even fighting it. I was not fighting anyone. I was not beefing with anyone. I was I was just ready. I was peaceful and I was nipo tu nipo ta tuko na nyumbani. Kufika Ethiopia airport. You people did not tell me Ethiopia in a car ivo. It looks abandoned. It looks like nobody lives there. It looks empty, hollow. It just it looks it just looks weird. But anyway, other yake ndali ngoro because I was just ni watu wataka kufika nyumbani. Alafu nikaingia kwa ndege. Everything is just old. The cabinets don't close. They just don't have it's just old. Alafu the floors they have worn out. Ukikanyanga tu hivi inaingia na ndani. Me I prayed. I prayed all the way nikauliza Mungu, unaweza fanya nitumie hiyo pesa yote kwenda huko? Then ndugu zangu zikose ku work out. Alafu kurudi nienda nikufie airline za za Ethiopia. Niku ah wewe wacha wewe. I was I prayed mpaka tukafika then tuvika ni like oh alhamdulillah mimi nimefika Mungu asante because that plane was it was I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Sandeo Mimi I survived Ethiopian airline thank god I send me to home back to my problems guess what I have no money I have nothing I am in debt I am in absolute debt I am heartbroken because I had plans of obviously I had plans I had vitu nilikuwa nimejipangia kufanya with all the time I had then I'm to home I don't know what to do I don't want to see anyone I want to talk to anyone I was I was heartbroken. My heart was broken. Now, sasa ni kwanza kufikiria what job would I have so that I can be able to pay people over 250,000? What will I do with my life? So my sister took me in. Akaniambia I go ndio akwa na job nzuri. She didn't have somebody to look after her son. So I decided why don't continue with my art duties since I am I'm used to them anyway. So I went and started living with her, took care of her kid, he had kind a job which which was okay. And everything was okay until it wasn't. Nothing was moving, nothing was working out. I I didn't have jobs. I wasn't getting any jobs. My heart was still broken. I don't know if I was going through depression. I can't tell. So I moved back into my mother's house. I am still it's been like 3 years now. It has been three years since I was kicked out or chased away. <laughs> it has been three years now. I am still in debt. I have not been able to pay my debts. I have not recovered and I cannot go back to those countries because they are the easiest to go to actually. But now I can't go if my situation is the same because I haven't resolved it. I managed to do a course. I 
graduated on February. I am now a certified nurse assistant. At least I have that going on for me. Takama was heartbroken and chased out of her country. <laughs> and I'm still in my mother's house. Uh, at least and that's it if you have made it this far thank you for being here i hope you may enjoy i hope you may and thank you bye